Well, bringing the fam out for a little spring break holiday. Woo! Crazy woman at the helm. Would you believe it? We fit. Yeah, we all fit. Six people. And one dog. Six people in a 10 by 10 cabin. Hey. <laughs> So and got, a dog! We got one up there, yeah, six and a dog. And hey, Zoe. Zoe. So mom and dad are on the floor. We got a cot right here over top. One of the kids <laughs> is going to be on there. A kid over there. And kid up I think a kid where Zoe is and one up in the loft. There'll be plenty of room. Of hey? course. And me. Especially How nice and cozy is it in here, guys? Warm. I'm shirtless. Awesome. <laughs> we, we can see that. Of course. Wicked. <laughs> Wicked. 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 American Ninja Warrior training. <laughs> Woo. Easy there, bud. We need a ladder, huh? Something like that. No, yeah. we got two little steps. Where's Logie? Where's the bogey? <laughs> Who's excited to spend their first night as a family in the off-grid cabin? Me. I just jumped. Me. Ashes. Ashes. Have a drink. Me. And a smile. It's always mm -hmm. by the door. Six people and a dog. And a ten by ten. So if that ain't crazy. 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 I don't know what is. <laughs> Well, we figured it was a beautiful sunny day. We thought we'd come out to the west coast here. Go for a beach walk. Follow Kruger. I've got... Who can guess where we are? Hey boys! Have fun! Walking the beach with my boys, doing some exploring. Got some pebbles in your shoe? Yeah, we did. You can see that fallen arbutus tree, that orange one there. I'm going to come back and salvage some of it because there's some cool posts that I want to use in my cabin. Yeah, then we could build a rail. Hey, Logan, I found a gun for you. <laughs> Boy's got to have his gat when you're out in the woods. In. Benny, what? give me a smile, boy. Hey, buddy. It's a good life out here. Oh, Dreams are made of right here, boys. Bonfires with my boys.
Got enough wood for days, for years. Gotta take this big ugly guy down here. Dead. Dangerous. I think I'm gonna, we've kind of cleared an area through here. I'm gonna wanna shoot a trail right through there where the grade is kind of nice. This is kind of the direction you know, of the property line anyway, so I just run a trail right down the middle. And then I also want to clear this gully here of all the debris and trees. So that goes down to the to the outhouse there as well. I don't know if I'll I think I'm gonna run my water line up that gully and then eventually if I ever build like stairs or a boardwalk up there, maybe. But I do like the fact that the path kind of just comes around here. It's a lot more gentle grade than a staircase going straight up. But we'll see. One project at a time. Don't worry, Karen, I'm still alive. And I have all my fingers and toes. Well, I got everything bucked up. I thought that would take me a lot longer, but I still got a couple hours here before the end of the day. So I'm gonna try and just clear all these branches that are 
been chopped into manageable lengths. Take them over, throw them on the fire. And then obviously I'm gonna save all these rounds from the tree for firewood. Because this tree's not too rotten. A lot of people have been asking, why are you burning all your firewood? Well, first of all, there's just too much to stack everywhere. And I've gotta to get to building and developing the property as opposed to just spending a year splitting firewood and stacking it. And a lot of the logs that I'm burning on the piles are kind of punky and have been laying on the ground for a while and have rotten. Um, so they're not the best for firewood anyways. But these, these deadfalls here are still pretty sound so I'm gonna save those for firewood. That's why I bucked them into 14 inch rounds. The key is getting these rounds down the rest of that gully there without them rolling and smashing into my camp. So, um, Thankfully I had a tree right there that I kind of rolled the bigger rounds into and that stopped them. But I still got to get these down somewhere where I can split them up. Um, I think this stuff I might just split it up here and pile it in between these trees just to keep for up here once eventually I have a, a cabin up here. So yeah, let's clean the rest of this up and enjoy a nice home cooked meal with my family. And uh, just in case you're wondering, off-grid life is amazing and it's even better than everything I expected. So if you're thinking about it, do it. The sun's even trying to come out, isn't it? Oh, what do you think, Ash? Good. Good. I think Logan likes it. Yeah, Logs. Are you licking the bowl? Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> you got a little something, something on your face. <laughs> so it's uh. Dead wet out here. So we're having a bit of a inside day today. Inside day. I'm gonna win. I know it. Two million, everybody. Boys playing Monopoly deal. Ash and Mom are cozied up by the fire. Toasty and warm in here. Toasty and warm. It got me. Tell by the wife's look on her face that she loves spending spring break in the pouring rain with four Me children too. in a yeah. 10 by 10 yeah. cabin. Yeah. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Yeah. Do you other games do you six card spin? Yeah. 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 When you're playing Crazy oh. Monopoly Deal. This is, so it's different than regular Monopoly Deal? Yeah. yeah. So how does it go? Um, at first. You get six cards. Cards. cards the dealer deals with them and when when you go to pick up your cards you pick up four cards and even if it's the code yeah. yeah even if it's the pass code yeah. and the you limit just, you just is double everything pretty much yeah, yeah. It, but the limit of cards in your hand is 10 what mm. that's next level Better, right? In my turn, And then, mm. what? After Bad. you pick up four cards, and it's your turn again, you pick up three cards. That makes so much sense. <laughs> <laughs> so much. <laughs> that makes sense to you, Ash? Yeah. All right. <laughs> it 
bad again. Bad. Naughty Asha. Bad. Naughty. Bad again. All right, guys, uh, I'm taking the boys home today and Courtney's gonna be staying up here by herself for the remainder of the week, I think, what, five days? Something like that. So this is gonna be a big challenge for her. Um, so I thought it'd be a great time to give her a little rundown on using the chainsaw to buck up some logs to create her own firewood. So we've got this dead maple here and I got this, uh, little uh, log PV bucking tool here from Princess Auto. I thought this is perfect because it'll be a great way to teach the kids and the wife how to do it without wrecking the chainsaw by digging into the ground. Okay, so you hook your log like this. All right, and then you just pry it up until it's up off the ground like that. Okay. All right, so then you can cut your pieces. Yeah without having to worry about hitting the ground or rocks or anything like that. Yeah. And then you just keep working your way along. As the uh, log gets shorter, you just move it back, right? And then you wanna keep your foot on the log while you're cutting with the chainsaw. So let's work on getting the chainsaw started. Okay, earmuffs on, guard off. Okay. Feel the power? Yeah. <laughs> See, that's as simple as that. You don't have to saw through your like saw in a sawing motion. I don't know. I've oh, never so done cute. it before. <laughs> I'm new. Give me a break. You gotta help that chainsaw though. <laughs> hey. Oh, that was well. <laughs> is when you come down you're short enough that it shouldn't be an issue but typically you don't want to swing like this where it can come into your leg right you want to swing down so that if you do glance off it's gonna go into the ground not into the not come shin, back at you right so you always want to kind of like come down parallel with the ground there you go Go. I feel badass. Yeah. <laughs> this is what life off the grid does. Makes you into a badass. Oh. Okay, and just keep your wrists tight, right? So that that axe doesn't. Come on. <laughs> Come one with the blade. There you go. The hang of it. All right, 
So if you need to split some smaller kindling, you can do it. And split the big stuff too, no big deal. Nice work. Go easy on her in the comments, guys. This is her first time splitting firewood. She's doing pretty dang good, if you ask me. First time using a chainsaw, first time splitting firewood. Haters gonna hate. That's right. I'm just gonna shake it off. That's right. <laughs> it's maple too. I think we should note. It's a hardwood. It's hardwood. Enjoying yourself, babe? It almost looks like you're having fun. It is fun. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> when my husband's around, can you open this jar? And then when my husband's not around, it's like, ah, Get her done myself. <laughs> what do you think, Logie? Mommy, mommy's a pretty tough chick, ain't she? <laughs> <laughs>